Right. I've been uh, reading the thing about the eco kettle, and as it's raining outside, there you are. It's actually chucking it down in Cornwall as usual. Um, woman's hour is kind of just getting me a little bit bored, so I thought I'm going to do an experiment to see whether I can put a cup of water in an electric kettle and see how long it takes to boil, put a cup of water in a little kettle on top of a gas stove and see how much gas it uses by weighing it and then after that it will mean putting this kettle onto an electric stove like this uh, see how long that takes so I'm going to get everything set up and then I'll start the video again right, so I have a little timer here which we can use to uh, work out what's what from the video later. I have a kettle with some water in it. I'll go on here, but I've got to obviously light it first. I've got it on the weighing scales so we can see how much it uses and the kettle's ready to go. Right, let's get the old stove up and running. It's a bit vicious. Anything, so I'm going to have two cups of tea while I do the other experiment. Right, there are uh, two of my cups of tea. I will have a third later. Now, the little thing's on the kettle. It's not switched on yet. How am I going to do the current? Well, quite easy. I've got my little current cost here and it's showing 182 watts. So, let's turn the right one on to full. Get the timer going. I will do another experiment which will give me a fourth cup of tea um, with a hot ring. Oh, a bit sizzling. We'll actually redo this one. And I'll weigh it before and I'll weigh it after. So that'll be a fifth cup of tea. And it's very nice. Let's go and have a look at the old current cost. So 182, now it's 1.49, 1.47. Well, it's had a minute going, which is about what the kettle does. Sound very healthy, does it? Well, that's as long as the gas cooker takes. We've just 
just about got the element nice and glowing red. Taking three minutes. Right, that's just boiling. And there is the time. Beautiful. Right there we are, now we have three cups of tea, we have a nice red hot ring, for want of a better term. That's still showing around about 147, 148. Let's reset this. As a on uh, 10 minutes, start that, put the kettle on, I know, know which cup of tea to drink first, one in the middle. Coming up to a minute, which is uh, what the electric kettle takes. This is still glowing nicely. on the gas one took. Two minutes.
Right, there it's just started to boil. And there is one 710, isn't it? Perfect. Turn it off, no need to waste anything. Right, let's weigh this and see what's happening. Oh, it says low. Do you think that's why it cut out? Right, so 798 at the moment. Reset the timer. Four cups of tea. Terrible, isn't it? Let's let it uh, come up to a minute. I think I've got the flame quite so violent this time. Sorry for last time, so I think that's confirming I haven't got quite so hot. seconds under two minutes. Turn this back on. That's 793, so we can work out, because I can't remember the first number, how much gas it's used. And it's um, somewhere, it does tell me what it is. Something like a 70-30 um, butane propane blend. Yeah, 70, 70 by butane. But whether it's volume or mass, I have no idea. But I will have a look on the instructions and find out. Right, one final experiment. I've done one of the cups of tea and the other one's halfway through. I've actually put the power meter on this one. Same amount of water, same electric kettle. So... On the count of three, three, let's get it going. So that's on zero at the moment. Kettle's on, count of time is going. There's the nice little blue light, which I don't really know what it was. Sorted. 